They're going to go check and see what's going on with Orb Prime right now. Narbash gets caught out by himself. It looks like they're doing, they're doing the Orb Prime. Gadget's gonna pop in an ult here. And Gideon getting the white axis differential. Uh-oh. Drongo. Drongo was able to kill the Gideon there. It looks like Team Faded might actually make a comeback here. Chimera using that using that scanner to pick out any wars that they have vision is definitely key when it comes to this game a lot of people do not have map awareness and map awareness is definitely important when it comes to pushing your lanes and maintaining wave priority all right looks like looks like press tab is going to advance here on this right lane oh with the ult out of the decker cage that was crazy he ulted out of the decker cage to catch up to the enemy drongo all righty Looks like AGS is gonna jump on this Fang Tooth here. They have three, now four Fang Tooths. That is now a 12% buff to their stats. All right, but it looks like, oh my goodness. Babe Nation just got a nasty ult on them and killed majority of their team. Kalari is trying to get back to base to see what she can do because now she gotta worry about towers being destroyed. All right, it looks like we're gonna get another play here from the right lane. Drongo is trying to engage on the enemy Drongo, trying to diss out as much damage as he can. But look at that enemy Drongo is gonna have more damage out, but he's able to get that kill from hiding behind the pillar there. Yeah, this is a complete stomp by AGS. Taking the game six to 27 with four Fang Tooths and acing the team before the game is over with. Complete, complete stomp. Gad is gonna try to head to the right side. Maybe she can get a play here with with right lane to see if she can get something going. And it looks like there's some trouble going on. She's following the team. There's four right lane. This is like there could be some trouble for Richter and Drongo. Drongo tries to get the Y axis, but manages not to hit the cliff. Blinks up on the cliff. Richter's gonna lose his life here, but it looks like Drongo's gonna be able to get out. But, but Gadget is now in trouble. She is isolated all alone. It looks like Richter's getting poked down by the enemy Decker and Drongo. That boulder from Rampage coming from downtown and the Fae coming in to slow him down. Roll record to Kenduga is ult to protect Drongo. Drongo's gonna back up to see what he can manage to do in his tower, but the Fae ulting him. Aram is proving to be a tremendous, tremendous force coming and destroying our previous champs in this first game. Uh oh. There's a fight going down. Still is gonna make he's gonna get a kill off that howitzer after ulting in. Still ults in under tower to try to get a kill. Gets a pick on Drongo, but gets picked by Lieutenant Bellica. The Murdoch is dead. Lieutenant Bellica is going to stasis here under the tower. There is a crazy fight going in on under the tower, giving Press Tab the advantage here, getting that the extra damage in from that tower. Aram losing two of their two of their teammates, but leaving Press Tab with three down. It feels really good whenever the tournament is like just you know actually going ham. All right, Decker's gonna flash on this. Decker's flashing in. We got three in the left lane. Murdoch able to secure a kill on Decker. With Murdoch give, give, having all those kills, he's gonna have enough gold to start his, his next item. Rampage is here trying to help kill that Murdoch. If Chimera dies, there's an ult from the Fae. They're able to get that. The entire left lane has just been vanquished by a ROM. And they're able to secure a fifth Fang Tooth, now giving them a 16% bonus to their stats. Murdoch has that ult up now. He can fish to see if anybody's low whenever the next team fight happens. They're gonna go ward the faint the orb prime to keep keep a ROM from capitalizing on it. Still had gotten himself into a predicament, jumping inside the main the, the orb prime or pri or prime canal. How is gonna ult, but still is able to get picked off by a boulder. The enemy still is gonna ult here. Drongo managed to pick up a kill on Crunch. With that, with that second tier tower gone mid, Drongo doesn't have any support to keep him alive. They do have Rampage in their jungle, so this might be a good time for Rampage to jump in. Decker's gonna lock them down inside of the cage. 
They're getting some hits off from that tower on Decker. But Decker has them locked in a cage. Let's see what happens here. Decker gets the stun off. With Decker being low, they're going to have to back off. They're man they he managed to get the stun off. Let's see what happens here. Drongo, Drongo's rads pops, killing Murdoch. But it looks like Decker was able to get away. Drongo hitting level eight. Now they're going to try to secure this gold buff here. And still was able to secure this kill. Let's see. Oh, looks like he, the crunch was able to get out here. But now the balance in between crunch and steel still is is weighing in hard on crunch now that he has that armor and health and he's able to go back and get his crest now chimera trying to poke out this drongo he's going to make the advance but drongo ults out decker comes in with the cage but is not able to get anyone rampage is in the jungle now drongo focuses his efforts onto murdoch murdoch is lower the fake comes in looks like murdoch is going to get taken out here and ladies and gentlemen, Drongo picks up another kill. The fight is still happening over in jungle. Still gets the ultimate off. And they're able to secure another kill on Chimera. They're going to try to take this tower down with the extra minions coming up. They look, they're sitting pretty pretty. In the left lane, Drongo and Decker have them pushed up. But now the enemy Decker has their Decker in a cage. They see the, the Drongo is low. Drongo ults out. The ultimate from Decker, Drongo is stuck. St Drongo is st <laughs> Drongo is stoned right in his place. Crunch is back for more. Chimera jumping on top of jumping on top of the Fey. The Fey not having the resources to fight back, but the ultimate is coming up. Decker locking the Fey in the cage, but Deck but the Fey does have ultimate up. Is able to get the kill on the Murdoch. The score is now seven to seven with one Fang Tooth on a ROM. The Fey able to get a kill off on that Murdoch flashes out. The Gideon uses his ultimate with no Y axis diff. The Fey is able to get to get the Drongo out. Still back in lane against that crunch, getting duked on. Looks like crunch is having, looks like crunch is going to be continue to keep fighting. But now Rampage is here. He's going to get the kill. Still secures the kill from crunch, giving him a chance to breathe to be able to get damage off from this tower and as well as get the green buff. Looks like everyone's setting up for the Fang Tooth play here. With abilities flying left and right here in the jungle. Looks like Crunch had some bad positioning here. And was able to get picked. Another boulder secures another kill. Looks like Decker's going to try to jump out. But the Fey ult catches him and brings him back down to earth. Alrighty, this still knows for a fact that Crunch cannot duke it out with him for too long. That's why he was waiting for Chimera to show up and really start doing damage to this Steel here. Steel's not giving up though. He's determined to take out this Crunch. Flashes, Gideon is now here, but he's too far gone for anyone to kill him. Drago's gonna clear the mid wave. Steel's gonna go right. Looks like the Fey has... The Fey has some other plans for the enemy team. Gets an ult off. Let's see what happens here. The Fey is risking it all. Drongo comes in and secures some kills for her. The Fey is not giving up. The Gideon Y axis diff, but it doesn't matter because Drongo is here. He's going to silence this Gideon. Let's see if those rats pop. And yes, they do. They do. They were able to get the left inhib. Now they have to focus their efforts on that left inhib. This gives plenty of time for Steel to sneak in and get the left one. But Crunch was able to get that kill on that Drongo. But now they're working on the mid. And leaving Steel the opportunity to get the right. 
Now they have two teammates down. And they have secured the mid inhib. It looks like they'll also secure the right inhib as well, leaving their base wide open for means to demolish their core. They're chasing them back down mid, and the Fey is able to get his kill. But the Gideon does not perform the Y axis dip, and that will cost him his life. And a rum, a, a, a rum now faces an ace as Vape Nation tries their best to clean up the base. It's going to oh, be yeah. a really, really good match. No, yeah. this isn't a Pokemon game, just saying uh, that. Oh, God. I'm ready for them, bro. I, I heard they're good. They, they're they pretty confident. They've been in my chat a little bit, so it should be fun. should be fun. All righty. Looks like the next game's going to get underway here. Let's see what we got. Okay, this is the team I'm looking for. All right. So, oh, um, Aram just took the first game on Vape Nation. Uh-huh. And so... Okay. Now I'm I'm just ready to see TOS versus Aram. This is going to be a really really good game. I mean, hey, listen, I'm I'm impressed by their mid laner. It looks <laughs> like gonna, he knows I'm what he's gonna doing. I'm going to be honest, Kurt. I'm going to be honest with you. If their offlaner just doesn't pick Crunch, I think he just wins the offlane. Dang, dude. Man, this is this is getting pretty heated, man. I I love to see like cuz I'm guessing some of y'all have played like against some of the other people before, correct? No, I've never heard of any of these other people. Uh, yeah, I've never heard of these guys. Uh, okay, some of these like some of like some of the guys on uh Aurora apparently played in uh the original like esports for Paragon. Oh, okay. that's cool for them. Right. They don't know how to itemize their heroes. <laughs> oh, oh my god, oh. Jesus nine. <laughs> Oh, I mean, listen, listen, man. bro. Hey, they trash. We go next. We go finals, bro. Oh, hey, they man. don't, bro. Hey, if you beat us, I will eat. I will print out my words on a piece of paper and eat them. <laughs> uh, they do not know how to itemize their heroes. And nine. I Alrighty, there's a fight going on in the jungle. Looks like they're trying to advance that, advance that or prime play. Alrighty, there's a huge fight going on with Rampage engaging here. The Orb Prime still going off, beating up on, beating on someone over there in the back in the pit. Rampage having to reposition himself, getting caught out by the still here. Still managed to get a kill here. Unless they're going to make the advancement onto Orb Prime once more. Vape Nation is able to secure this Fang Tooth, but there's still a fight going on in a Fang Tooth pit. Gideon tries to get the Y axis differential here. Let's see if he lives through it. Richter was able to get a kill off on Steel. Looks like a rum is going to make Babe Nation pay for taking the Fang 2 from them. Steel was able to get out, and it looks like Babe Nation is going to lose all of their team here for that Fang 2 play. They're going to chase them down here in the jungle. Let's see what happens. Lieutenant Bellica tries to flash out, but Drongo was able to catch her. Looks like they may be able to get the. Looks like they may be able to get the Decker as well. Drongo was stacking up kills here. Now being seven and five. Looks like they're able to get the whole team here in what appears to be an ace. Now they're free to run amok on the base to try to get some of these inhibitors up. With that orb prime buff, they'd be able to bully all the towers off of them. All right. Looks like they're going to be able to secure this tower here. Still might lose his life for being nosy over at the inhibitor. And ladies and gentlemen, it looks like looks like this might be the second game for a rum. Alrighty, looks like Sparrow lost her life messing around with with Richter at the core. That core does a lot of damage if you don't have any minions on it. Lieutenant Bellica is trying to get this this second tier tower down mid lane. And they're doing damage to that core there, but the team is now up. Still just getting the second, the left inhib. Looks like they're going to make them pay for their lives for overextending here. Still just might be able to get this, this mid inhib. Let's see if he risks his life for it. The whole team, Babe Nation trying to keep him from getting that the inhib right now. He was able to get a kill off before he died. All right. Looks like there's going to be a rotation from the right lane here. The Fae, all alone with no one here beside me, 
Looks like she might get out, but Gideon is here, and so is Richter. She spent her ult, so now she has to try to run back to lane without getting hit. The steel drops the wall. Let's see if she's able to get out. And they were not able to secure the kill on Faye, but they were a they are able to push her out of lane, giving Gideon the time to take some to take some hits on their on their tower. Drongo getting caught out by Richter, just exchanging there, just a couple hits of damage. Enemy tower under attack. The score is now one to four. Let's see what a rum can do to make up for their loss. That Richter hook, you know, if there's one chain, oh, oh my goodness, I need it, I need it again, ladies and gentlemen. But the mini prime is being attacked right now let's see what happens all right a run was able to secure the the mini prime let's see how this fight goes looks like they're able to get a kill on steel and then still get a kill on chimera gideon trying to get the y-axis differential here but it doesn't look like it's going to matter whatsoever he's going to get taken out before he's able to get a kill there it is ladies and gentlemen they were they almost they almost got the ace definitely showing a turn of events from what happened over in the fang tooth pit Looks like they're gonna, gonna they're gonna converge on steel here, but there's a fight going down in the jungle. Drongo getting caught out. They're not able to get to kill the Fae with three people being there, including Rampage. Steel looks like he might be able to go help on that fight, but he's really low. Decker's gonna lose her life here unless she can get that cage to pop. She might be able to get out, but it looks like the enemy Decker is gonna keep following her. The Faye is having trouble taking her out, but there it is, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Faye just hit level nine. Let's see where she goes with this new this new leveling. It looks like she's going to try to rotate right, looking to see if she can find a pick. Chimera sees the Faye. Maybe she gets her teammates to rotate properly. Still is also here. So now she has some protection with Fangtooth being up. Looks like it's going to be a fight here, ladies and gentlemen. The steel is going to rush down Chimera. Throws the wall down. There's a there's a jumble dog pile in the jungle. The fake gets a kill on Chimera here. Richter throws the chain and misses. There's another kill. Rampage taking out Richter. The Richter ult looks like, oh my god. Goodness gracious, the rum is going to take this here and is going to go for the Fang Tooth play. That was an ace, ladies and gentlemen. A rum definitely does not want TOS to have that Fang Tooth. Now giving it 12% to their stats. Looks like they're going to wait here for some mischief to pop off. Let's see what happens. TOS. Getting a little shifty right here. Let's see if they can get something to pop off. <laughs> they look like a bunch of sitting ducks trying to figure out what they want to do here. Looks like they were trying to bait for something to go off. Let's see if it'll work. <laughs> They're sitting here everybody <laughs> wait to see what's gonna happen i'm really interested to see okay ladies and gentlemen let's see what pops off they're on the stairs they're right here they didn't know the whole time they waited patiently to see what pops off they were able to get two picks there <laughs> hopefully they can, they can <laughs> hopefully they can prioritize or prime off of that play holy cow Still waiting for the steel to come around a corner, knocks him back, but doesn't engage. We got TOS coming around the corner. Let's see what happens here. We got still about to get sandwiched by Chimera. All right, there's a fight happening. There's a steel wall up right now. The fade coming around the back. The Gideon Y axis differential picking up a kill on Rampage here. There's there's the ult from the Fey. The Richter ult on Fey. Drongo picking a kill up on Drongo. It looks like Gideon is going to keep taking lives here. Still getting the kill on Steel. TOS is cleaning up, working the shop on a rum.
They're determined to get this Fang Tooth right now. Kill Rampage taking out Richter. The Richter oh, looks like, oh my goodness gracious, the Rum is gonna take this here and is gonna go for the Fang Tooth play. That was an ace, ladies and gentlemen. Securing their second Fang Tooth again, proving that they will always maintain the Fang Tooth advantage here. Still's gonna flash out here with three people being inside of his lane. Chimera ulting. Rampage is now here to help. But Gideon with the Y axis differential is gonna take out Steel. And now Rampage is by himself. And was able to get the kill on Rampage as well. All right, Steel going for Chimera here in front of the Orb Prime Pit. He's gonna ult to see what he can do here. The Richter ult, there's a major fight happening. The Fae gets a kill on Chimera. Steel gets a kill on Steel. Let's see if they can get a revenge for what just happened. Drongo just took out Richter. Drongo able to get a kill on Steel. The Fae is real low, so she's not able to maintain her fight here. But Drongo is here. Maybe he can get a kill on the enemy Drongo, but the Drongo ulted him and the Richter ganked him. Leaving the Fae by herself to try to maintain. But it looks like they're gonna get an ace here, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe she gets her teammates to rotate properly. Still is also here. So now she has some protection with Fangtooth being up. Looks like this is going to be a fight here, ladies and gentlemen. The Steel's going to rush down Chimera. Throws the wall down. There's a there's a jumble dog pile in the jungle. The Fake gets a kill on Chimera here. Richter throws the chain and misses. There's another kill. Rampage taking out Richter. The Richter ult looks like... Oh my goodness gracious, the rum is going to take this here and is going to go for the Fang Tooth play. That was an ace, ladies and gentlemen. Securing their second Fang Tooth, again, proving that they will always maintain the Fang Tooth advantage here. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. The Fang Tooth is now up. I see a rum eyeballing that Fang Tooth, but I think TOS has better positioning. Hopefully they can get some wards out. And it looks like TOS is able to secure that second Fang Tooth. Leaving the rum dazed and confused, wondering why that they didn't think to get it quicker. TOS is having a little bit, a little bit of bad positioning here. And they're able, here is Gideon with the Y-axis differential. Drongo picks a kill up on Drongo and the Gideon kills a steal. Gideon gets a second kill on Richter. The Faye is in trouble now because she doesn't have anyone there to, to help take that damage for her. And it looks like there's gonna clean up shop here with the rest, with Chimera taking out the Fae. Gideon taking out the Drongo, and Chimera taking out the Rampage. All right, the Fae gets a nice ult here. Let's see what can happen. The two enemy, the, the two steals just pop off at the same time with their ultimate. Break their ult in the Fae. Oh, the rift open. The Y axis differential, ladies and gentlemen, is proven to be nasty from TOS. But they're going to take some kills here from T. So they're going to take some lives here from TOS, but it does not matter because TOS is able to secure another ace. Still ulting in, hitting two of the enemy teammates. They're going to get a pick on Steel here. That's one person down that doesn't have it. There's one chain. Oh, you know, if there's one chain, there's got to be another one. But it doesn't look like Richter's going to be able to get out to get another one. Ladies and gentlemen, a rum is not giving up, though TOS has the Orb Prime buff. It's going to get interesting here. Looks like TOS is eyeballing the Orb Prime. They got everyone looking out on that right side of that pit. Still trying to get the stun off to keep him busy from trying to engage on the rest of his team here. They got the team sandwich, but still does not have good positioning to help us assess his team situation. He's going to go in and try to get the enemy Drongo out of the situation here. The Y-ax differential from Gideon. No one's able to touch him. Chimera pops the Phoenix. Still losing his life to the enemy Drongo here. It looks like they're going to disengage so they don't lose anyone else. 
But it looks like the Faye is able to get a three-person ult here. Let's see how much damage she can rack up. It looks like it's not going to be enough. And still is going to ult in, but the Faye flashes out. Rampage has now lost his life. Looks like TOS is going to take everything here from a rum. The Faye stays to see, but not able to get any kills here. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, TOS proving that they're not going to go down without a fight. But he does have them push under tower now. Let's see what happens here. Rampage is here. Gets the crazy boulder from across the across the mid lane. There's the hook on Rampage. Rampage is gonna ult here. Let's see what they can do. Getting the stick, getting the, the boulder. There's another big monster happening. The gadget ult. Tearing up Rampage. Rampage is able to get a get a kill up on Drongo with the Y axis differential. Gideon is able to take out Drongo, still annihilating Drongo. They're gonna have to reset here, but it looks like a rum might be able to take the Fang Tooth yet again. But they're all pretty low, so I believe they're gonna back. He's got that hook ready. He's fishing. Yo, it might not be a good day for fishing today. He wait. He waited for. Waited way too late for that. He should have just held it up there. But they're gonna go for the fang tooth here. Let's see what happens with the fang tooth play. Everybody on the team is up except for Steel, but that allows a rum to come in and potentially wreck shop. They're bursting it down the fang tooth as much as they can. And he's able to get it. But it looks like a rum might have the upper hand here. Caging these animals here in the Fang Tooth Pit. And they're able to pick up three kills on TOS. Richter able to get the hook on Drongo. Drongo got caught being loose, but Richter all thing. Let's see if they get the kill here. Drongo may be able to get out. Decker activates her crest. And ladies and gentlemen, Drongo is able to live another day. But now it looks like Richter may have to fight for his own as well. Looks like they're trying to pick off the still here, but they don't know that Richter is available. They take out that award that was just placed. Looks like there's something going on over here in the jungle. Decker puts up the cage for the animals. But Rampage is gonna break out and keep going. Richter ults get both Steel and Rampage. Rampage ults. Let's see what happens in this team fight. Decker does get the ultimate off on both of them. No one has yet to lose their life. Gideon is here, so the Y axis differential may need to be taken into account. But Gadget puts up that bubble and looking at that health just deplete. Rampage takes out Richter, but still is able, still manages to take out the Gadget here. He was not able to kill that ward there. But now it seems like there might be a fight here. With Gadget getting caught out by that boulder. He's able to flash out and not lie. But Richter was able to yank her up real quick and easy. Gideon with the Y axis differential. He's not able to pick up any kills here, but the damage might have been enough. But that rampage is healing way too much for him to stop him. Still kills still kills the Drongo here. Now they're down in damage. But Rampage is able to take out that Gideon. The fight is still conversing, still on, still on Rampage action here. Still was able to kill the enemy Rampage. And now TOS is going to advance on the Fang Tooth play. The Orb Prime is now up. With both teams up, you're going to see a huge fight happen over here. Still is going to open the gate with the Nolt and misses. But they're going to go all in on the Drongo. Richter pulls, Richter pulls still back to save Drongo's life, but it does not prove to be beneficial. Gideon gets knocked out of his Y axis differential here, and it looks like possibly TOS could be losing here. Rampage and Steel are able to get out. Let's see what Crashy does here.
Crashy looking around. Steel coming to find the nosy, nosy Crashy. Coming to punish him for his way. But that Rampage is proven to be king of the jungle, making Steel chase him all the way down. He does have Blink. Let's see what he does here in this situation. There is a wall to jump over, but instead of blinking, he uses his high jump. Activates his crest. He's getting chased down, and the enemy the enemy team, a rum, did secure the orb prime. What a miss in that ultimate. But it looks like three enemies are on the right hand side trying to put pressure on that right side of the map so they can take out that inhib. They're not able to get the Richter. The Richter flashed out. TOS proving to be fluid like water. Oh, I had to go to the bathroom. I come back to somebody being dead. And now they have that inner tower. It's crazy, man. They're going in on the face. Richter gets that hook. So does Steel get that hook. Oh, and now, ooh, looks like they're going to reverse it here. Getting the Richter down, they're going to have to back up not having the, a fourth teammate here. A rum with the counter push here. The YX differential proving to be useless here. It's going to be an interesting game here. Majority of the team is on the other side of the map. And they're pushing with that orb prime. Alrighty. DOS. Going for their third fang to It's going to prove very beneficial. But a rum is not going to go out without a fight. They do have their orb prime buff. So this fight inside of the fang to pit is going to prove to be a very tricky one. Drongo does lose his life. And so does Rampage. A rum still able to get that fang to from. He was able to get that fang to from a rum here. Losing their lives in the process. Was it a fair trade? Who's to know? This game is about to get crazy. It's about to get hype in here. All right. Oh, we got an invade happening already from the jump. Decker getting out barely with any health. She's going to have to back after that one. But she's going to pop a pot instead and just go into lane with Drongo to provide as much support as possible. But Murdoch and Decker are still rushing him down. Oh no, Drongo has bad positioning here. He could lose his life, and that's first blood. Bad timing, taking first blood from a rum. All right, it looks like the Faye is gonna rotate over to the left lane to see if she can provide some support. She doesn't have ult, so it's gonna be a really hard time to try to lock him down. Decker getting the stun off. The Faye not able to secure a kill here. Getting rushed down by the Murdoch. This Murdoch has proven to be a menace here. Let's see what happens here at Fang Tooth. TOS has three. They might need to engage now for them to at least. Oh no, it looks like they disengage and they're going to rotate into, into the left lane. Alrighty, we got a fight going down in the left lane. Richter managing to get a steal. Gideon with the Y axis differential gets knocked out of it. The gadget bubble doesn't hit anyone, but she is trying to evade this deadly assault from Rampage. He gets rooted and it looks like she might be able to get out, but Rampage is on her trail. And there's the hook from Richter, and Rampage is able to secure the kill. This means that TOS has time to get the Fang Tooth now. Now that they've lost this tower hit mid lane, there's gonna be a fight going down. Still uses his ult, 
and he counters with another still ult. But I don't think they're going to be able to get away here. He does flash out. Rampage ulting away to ensure his life. Deal is going to go in on Countess to prove again he does not want her to be outside her boundary. But Howitzer is able to pick a kill up on Steel for him being so hungry. The Faye getting caught out by the Countess. Let's see if Drongo is able to pick the kill up. Yes, he will. They are kind of low. But they, if they really want to capitalize on two teammates being down on the enemy team, they need to engage now and not get caught out. Just like that, there is a Decker bomb in his face, and the steel is behind him. And they're able to kill the Fae. Murdoch doing s tremendous amounts of damage to the to Arum's front line. And then Murdoch picks up another kill once again. Murdoch is going to be a troublesome man whenever at the end of this game. And just like that, Decker is able to secure the Fang Tooth over poor Drongo. Now it's going to bring the score to seven to seventeen, leaving bad timing with two Fang Tooths and a run with one. All right, it looks like there's going to be a Fang Tooth play here. Let's see what they can get going. It looks like a fight is going down a little bit between the gadget poking down that, ramp that rampage there. Was a Grux? Never mind, not a rampage. All right, let's see what happens here. Still, still sets up like the wall. Starting. Murdoch clearing the wave and is about to start aggressing on the Sparrow. Oh, man. Bad time is getting caught out in the jungle, but Grux able to get a nice pull there. Gadget able to throw out an ultimate, capturing the Grux. Muriel with that ult. Muriel proving that she is going to be useful here. Gadget is going to go ahead and grab that river buff to get some, some damage and some mana in. Howitzer is just tearing them up in the back line. Murdoch right. secures the kills. But still was able Going to get that off. kill. But now it's going to prove to be very dangerous. Okay, to, we'll to, to continue finish. to stay here. It's and just, it, it's oh, just Muriel. Oh, oh. Muriel was able to get the Howitzer. But Decker is able to keep this still off. But still able to get and the Decker. still cleans it up. Good job on arms part. Now bad timing still has this Fang Tooth lead. And let's see if a is gonna have a better setup this time to see if they can at least contest it. Looks like Richter's gonna start it. And still is gonna come up behind the Murdoch to try to see if he can get him. But the Richter says no, not today. Ults him and oh. then Decker puts him inside of the cage. Hold on, what's going on here? Oh, unable to do anything stuck in that CC chain. Yes, sir. You gotta hate it. Yes, you sir. You gotta hate it. And now it looks like bad time is going to chase into the jungle. Ooh, and but the, they catch the sparrow. Yeah, the sparrow definitely misplaced that that blink there. She was hoping to get up on top of the staircase, but missed it just by a hair and got hit by that wall. Now they get us. Dual lane is getting pushed back hard, but the jungler is there for a rock. Let's see. Again, Murdoch. And the fight goes south. Yeah, Mur again, Murdoch. It, the team is, is doing really good about letting Murdoch get those kills so he can get ahead with all that gold. Just a nice. But unable to secure the kill on the Murdoch. Looks like Arm is dying on all fronts. And bad timing cleans up. Oh, but they were able to secure the kill on the Richter. The Murdoch damage output is too much for Rampage. Looks like they may be setting up for the next thing, too. Trying to go for a pick here. Wow! Nice Decker stasis from off the wall. Still hitting the gadget in mid lane. You gotta Follow love with the Richter pull. You gotta love the geometry on that, that, that Decker ball. Good lord! That was beautiful. Almost like Murdoch might get the kill on the howitzer. Oh man, he gets away. Great nice, steal ult. That's a nice ult there. Figma unable to move. Howitzer's Ooh. trying to grief the Murdoch. Unable to get it due to the CC chain. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate.
It is now 10 to 7, and the Fang Tooth is up. That means that a play is going to be made here. It looks like a Rum's already on top of it, and as we've seen throughout the entire tournament, they do not want to give up those those Fang Tooths whatsoever. They're all about objectives whenever it comes to these creeps. It's good to see teams recognizing the, the gold difference and allowing and they take it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, they do. gets a nice but unable to secure the kill on the Murdoch. Looks like Arm is dying on all fronts. And bad timing cleans up. Oh, but they were able to secure the kill on the Richter. The Murdoch damage output is too much for Rampage. One to five trade, and now bad timing increases the lead 20 to eight. It is now 10 to seven, and the Fang Tooth is up. That means that a play is going to be made here. It looks like a Rum's already on top of it, and as we've seen throughout the entire tournament, they do not want to give up those, those Fang Tooths whatsoever. They're all about objectives whenever it comes to these creeps. Bad timing. Normally having such a great lead on them is unable to always keep up on those objectives over arm. Let's see, can the Kalari get the sneak kill? There is an entire team there. She has to worry about that rampage she has as well. To worry about everything just to get the singular kills. Mm -hmm. She's still gonna go for it. She might oh Barely Ooh, dodging that boulder. Barely dodging that boulder. Spraying her toes. Making my own life getting scared. 